yeah, we're just really grateful um, for Fonterra and Share the Road have come along and um, given us the opportunity to upskill and learn a bit more about riding on the road in a, a safer environment and, and yeah, sharing that responsibility on the road. So I'd definitely recommend it to um, all schools in Auckland given, um, yeah, given the issues we face and the challenges that we have on the road. It's fantastic that the kids are able to do this and actually get in the truck. Good, good. And what would you recommend to other um, coaches around the country? I think it would be fantastic if you can get this and do it for your um, cycling team as well, because that's our paramount is safety for our kids when they're out riding. Okay, let's, let's keep moving. Follow, follow me, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to go to the driver's side now. We've been talking about intersections and the tracking of trucks around corners. And we're basically talking to the, um, the cyclists of what to watch for, what the drivers are actually looking for, and um, what we can't see. And, and what would you say to your colleagues around the country in terms of, um, you know, do you think it's a good idea that they get involved in these workshops? Definitely, I've um, learned quite a bit actually. I've learned a lot about the blind spots. Um, but hey, guys, you know. They're part of the road too. Give them a good wide space and um, look after them. Okay. All right, hi there, my name is Ewart. Um, I'm 18 years old and I do road cycling at Boys High School. Um, today we had um, Share the Road coming today and we had to go on the uh, Fonterra truck to see uh, the blind spots that a driver will have in, well, when they're in traffic. Um, we learned that as a cyclist, it's our job to control ourselves um, make ourselves as visible as possible and um, share the road with the driver.